In our fast-paced, interconnected world, travel has become an integral part of many people's lives. Whether commuting to work, embarking on a business trip, or exploring new horizons for leisure, we often find ourselves in transit. For practitioners of Nichiren Buddhism, this presents a unique opportunity to engage in a powerful yet discreet practice, silent chanting of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Silent chanting, also known as chanting in the heart, is a profound way to maintain and deepen one's practice while navigating the hustle and bustle of travel. It allows us to tap into the transformative power of the mystic law even when circumstances don't permit audible chanting. This practice aligns perfectly with Nichiren Daishonin's teachings on the omnipresence of the Gohanzen, the object of devotion in Nichiren Buddhism. Nichiren wrote, Never seek this Gohanzen outside yourself. The Gohanzen exists only within the mortal flesh of us ordinary people who embrace the Lotus Sutra and chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. This profound statement reminds us that the essence of our practice is not confined to a specific place or dependent on external conditions. It resides within us, accessible at all times, even during travel. But how exactly does one engage in silent chanting? The process is simple yet profound. As you sit on a train, wait at an airport, or even walk through a bustling city, you can internally recite Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. The key is to focus your mind on the words and their meaning, just as you would during audible chanting. Visualize the characters, feel the rhythm, and connect with the essence of the mystic law. Daisaku Ikeda emphasizes the power of this practice. Silent prayer is a dialogue with your own life, with the universe. When we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo in our hearts, we are tapping into the fundamental rhythm of the universe. This perspective highlights the profound nature of silent chanting, suggesting that even in the midst of travel, we can align ourselves with the cosmic order. One of the beautiful aspects of silent chanting during travel is its versatility. Whether you're sitting, standing, or walking, you can engage in this practice. It doesn't require any special posture or environment. This flexibility aligns perfectly with the principle of practice for oneself and others a core tenet of Nichiren Buddhism. Nichiren Daishonin often emphasized the importance of consistent practice, regardless of circumstances. He wrote, Exert yourself in the two ways of practice and study. Without practice and study, there can be no Buddhism. You must not only persevere yourself, you must also teach others. Both practice and study arise from faith. Silent chanting during travel allows us to maintain this consistency, turning potentially idle or stressful travel time into an opportunity for spiritual growth. Moreover, silent chanting can serve as a powerful tool for maintaining composure and focus during the often chaotic experience of travel. Delayed flights, crowded subways, or unfamiliar surroundings can easily lead to stress or frustration. By centering our minds on Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and clarity amidst external turbulence. Jose Toda often spoke about the transformative power of chanting, saying, When we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we are not praying to some being outside ourselves, we are tapping into the wisdom and compassion within our own lives. This principle applies equally to silent chanting. As we internally recite these words during our travels, we're accessing our innate Buddha nature regardless of our physical location. Silent chanting during travel also offers a unique opportunity for reflection and self-discovery. As we move through new environments or navigate familiar routes, the act of internally reciting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo can help us gain fresh perspectives on our lives and challenges. It's a chance to step back from the immediate concerns of travel and connect with our deeper selves. Nichiren wrote, Suffer what there is to suffer, enjoy what there is to enjoy. Regard both suffering and joy as facts of life and continue chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, no matter what happens. This teaching is particularly relevant to the practice of silent chanting during travel. Whether our journey is pleasant or fraught with difficulties, we can continue our internal practice, finding strength and wisdom in the mystic law.
One of the challenges of silent chanting during travel is maintaining focus amidst distractions. The constant movement, noise, and visual stimuli of travel environments can easily pull our attention away from our internal recitation. However, this challenge is also an opportunity. By striving to maintain our focus on Nam Myoho Renge Kyo despite external distractions, we strengthen our ability to concentrate and deepen our faith. Daisaku Ikeda offers guidance on this point. Buddhism is a philosophy of empowerment. It's about strengthening our inner resolve and discipline so that we can create value in any circumstance. Silent chanting during travel is a perfect embodiment of this principle. It's a way of taking control of our inner life even when we can't control our external environment. Another powerful aspect of silent chanting during travel is its potential to transform our perception of our surroundings. As we internally recite Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we may find ourselves more attuned to the interconnectedness of all things. The strangers we pass, the landscapes we traverse, the very act of movement itself, all can take on a deeper significance when viewed through the lens of the mystic law. Nichiren Daishonin wrote, If you light a lantern for another, it will also brighten your own way. This principle of interconnectedness is beautifully exemplified in the practice of silent chanting during travel. As we cultivate our own Buddha nature through internal recitation, we naturally contribute to the positive energy of our surroundings. Our silent practice becomes a subtle but powerful force for good in the world. It's important to note that silent chanting during travel is not meant to replace regular audible chanting or other aspects of Nichiren Buddhist practice. Rather, it's a complementary practice that allows us to maintain our connection to the mystic law even when circumstances don't allow for our usual routines. As Nichiren taught, the voice does the Buddha's work. While silent chanting is powerful, we should still make efforts to chant audibly when possible. One of the beautiful aspects of silent chanting during travel is its potential to bridge cultures and transcend language barriers. As we internally recite Nam Myoho Renge Kyo while moving through different countries or interacting with people from diverse backgrounds, we're embodying the universal nature of the mystic law. This practice can help foster a sense of global citizenship and human unity. Daisaku Ikeda speaks to this point. The ultimate goal of our Buddhist practice is to create a world where all people can live in peace and harmony, respecting each other's differences while recognizing our shared humanity. Silent chanting during travel can be seen as a step towards this goal, a way of carrying the spirit of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo into every corner of the world. Another benefit of silent chanting during travel is its ability to help us maintain equanimity in the face of unexpected challenges. Travel often involves unforeseen circumstances, missed connections, lost luggage, cultural misunderstandings. By grounding ourselves in the internal recitation of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we can face these challenges with greater composure and wisdom. Nichiren wrote, Regard both suffering and joy as facts of life and continue chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, no matter what happens. This teaching takes on special significance in the context of travel. Through silent chanting, we can maintain our practice and our sense of purpose regardless of external circumstances. It's also worth noting that silent chanting during travel can serve as a powerful tool for setting intentions and focusing our energy. Whether we're heading to an important meeting, embarking on a new adventure, or returning home after a long journey, internally reciting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo can help us clarify our goals and summon our inner strength. Jose Toda often emphasized the importance of determined prayer, saying, when you chant, chant with the conviction that your prayer will absolutely be answered. This principle applies equally to silent chanting. As we travel, we can use our internal practice to fuel our determination and focus our energy on our goals. One of the challenges and opportunities of silent chanting during travel is maintaining consistency. It's easy to become distracted or forget our practice amidst the excitement or stress of travel. However, by making a conscious effort to engage in silent chanting regularly during our journeys, we can develop a powerful habit that enhances both our travels and our daily lives. Nichiren Daishonin emphasized the importance of consistent practice, writing, 
exert yourself in the two ways of practice and study. Without practice and study, there can be no Buddhism. Silent chanting during travel allows us to maintain our practice even when we're far from our usual routines and environments. It's also important to remember that silent chanting during travel is not just for our own benefit. As we internally recite Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, we're contributing to the positive energy of our surroundings. Our silent practice can have a ripple effect, subtly influencing those around us and contributing to a more harmonious world. Daisaku Ikeda expresses this idea beautifully. A great human revolution in just a single individual will help achieve a change in the destiny of a nation and, further, will enable a change in the destiny of all humankind. Our silent chanting during travel, though invisible to others, can be a part of this great human revolution. As we conclude this exploration of silent chanting during travel, it's worth reflecting on the profound nature of this practice. In a world that often seems chaotic and disconnected, silent chanting offers a way to maintain our center and contribute to positive change, no matter where we are. Nichiren Daishonin wrote, When you chant Mioho and recite Renge, you must summon up deep faith that Mioho Renge Kyo is your life itself. This teaching reminds us that our practice is not separate from our daily lives, including our travels. Through silent chanting, we can infuse every moment of our journeys with the transformative power of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Whether we're commuting to work, exploring new cultures, or simply moving through our day, silent chanting offers a way to stay connected to our deepest selves and to the fundamental rhythm of the universe. It's a practice that turns every journey into a pilgrimage, every moment into an opportunity for growth and transformation. As you embark on your next journey, whether it's across the world or just across town, remember the power of silent chanting. In the midst of movement and change, let Nam Myoho Renge Kyo be your constant companion, your internal compass guiding you towards ever greater heights of wisdom, compassion, and joy. Safe travels, and happy chanting!